Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The pace of new technology adoption and the induction of new platform by Indian Navy is not only helping them to checkmate PLA Navy in Indian Ocean region but also keeping an eye over PLA Army across the LAC. This is the reason why I always keep saying that Navy's planning and its implementation is best among the tri services. In December 2012, Indian Navy took delivery of their first PLTI aircraft and since then the PLTI fleet has grown to 12 and surpassed 35,000 flight hours. The addition of PLTI has not only been a force multiplier for Indian Navy in Indian Ocean region but these aircrafts are also assisting Indian Army in keeping an eye over border activities at LSE during heightened tensions with China. The PLTIs of Indian Navy were seen performing ISR missions along the LSE during and after the Galwan conflict. It has also been recently spotted performing ISR mission at LSE during the conflict of December 9 to 12 at Tawang. PLTI, as we all know, is one of the world's best maritime patrol aircraft used for anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare roles. However, the aircraft is equally capable of performing air-to-air, air-to-ground and air-to-sea, air-to-subsurface LNIT capabilities. The aircraft has proven its mettle in detecting various Chinese and Pakistani submarines in Indian Ocean region. These PLTI use ESM that is called Electronic Surveillance Measure to collect wide range of emitters used by land-based facilities at extended range. It allows plane to geolocate emitters to find a foreign submarine, surface combatant or land-based surface-to-air site. Additionally, it can covertly monitor a wide area. The electro-optical infrared camera can be used to visually identify both land and sea-based targets with infrared camera having both white-hot and black-hot images. The PLTIs come equipped with Raytheon AN APY-10 radar, which is a maritime, littoral and over-the-land surveillance radar. As it is clear from the description, the radar can be used to monitor ground movements and is capable of providing data in all weather conditions at day and night. In the synthetic aperture and inverse synthetic aperture mode, this radar can penetrate through clouds and foliage to give detailed images of surface below. Images produced by the radar in these modes can give details such as size of the objects and a structure of surface, movement and changes in the movement. These observations helps Army to keep a close watch over the movement of PLA on the other side of line of actual control. Based on these inputs, the Army can take a call on its deployment. PLTIs can use these capabilities in the areas which remains classified to draw a picture of enemies' dispositions on the ground while flying in their own airspace. The PLTI aircraft is also complemented with two MQ-9 RPS for ISR mission across LSE. On November 22, 2022, the two MQ-9A of Indian Navy has reported to complete its 10,000 flight tower in exactly two years and have helped Indian Navy to cover 14 million square miles of operating areas. The UAV has an endurance of over 27 hours, speed of 240 KTAS and can operate up to 50,000 feet and has 3,850 pound of payload capacity that includes 3,000 pound of external stores. It provides a long endurance, persistent surveillance and strike capability for warfighter. MQ-9A is capable of carrying multiple missions payload which includes electro-optical infrared EOIR, Lynx multi-mode radar, multi-mode maritime surveillance radar, electronic support measures, laser designators and various weapons and payload packages. The PLTI aircraft and MQ-9 RPA is providing live feeds of high resolution images supplementing the satellite feeds and the Israeli origin Heron UAVs. The naval platforms have been used both in western Ladakh and eastern sectors. PLTI has also served Indian Army during 2019 Pulwama attack. The maritime surveillance aircraft was put to use to keep an eye on the movement of Pakistani troops after the terror attack. Indian Navy has requested 
a restated letter of offer and acceptance from US government for the procurement of additional 6 PTA aircraft. Recently, the chief of naval staff Admiral R Hari Kumar has also told that the case for 30 MQ-9B Hale RPS is ready in all aspect and would be fielded for a code very shortly. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.